Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tesla.com here at DesignerCon 2017. Now something I never expected to fight at DesignerCon, but in retrospect makes a lot of sense, are custom keycaps. Now meet Robert here. Robert, you run Clack Keys, and that's that's you. That's me, yeah. Right? One solo. And my wife helps me a lot, but you know. And you make keycaps? Yeah, I mean I uh, I I ZBrush uh, keycaps, I 3D print them, and I hand paint them, and I sell them online to uh, people who use mechanical keyboards. Are, are you a mechanical keyboard nerd yourself? Yeah, I think I have nine keyboards. Nine of them? Yeah. What's, I mean, this is one of yours. Yeah, I know yeah. you had some at your booth. Yeah. Uh, what, what's your favorite? What's your, uh, what's their minimalist style? Like, um, I actually use a Real Force. It's a Topher, Topher keyboard. Um, it's best for typing on, so that's the mm. one I use for like my live streaming and things like that. Um, but I think the minivan is probably my favorite looking keyboard. This I love the look of it. I, I feel like re reduction is like very in right now. Right. right? Four yeah. rows. Yeah. That's it. You don't need all that garbage. Yep. But you also need a custom escape key. Yes. Right. Yes. And that's what everyone needs yes. in their life, even if you didn't know it. Uh, <laughs> what was the first keycap you modeled? Um, it was the booby cap. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. So the the booby cap here, it's a uh, you know it's just a boob you yep. know and. Yep. Uh, I posted it online and um, kind of an experiment, really. I wanted to see if my ana anatomy skills, I'm a 3D sculptor by trade doing people and things like that. So I wanted to see if people would be interested in like really high quality anatomy and other art pieces. And um, I posted it out there and it kind of, I mean, for what it was, it went viral for me and it, it completely launched my company. Now, when you were doing that, um were you printing the same quality? Were the 3D, were you, you were still modeling, it wasn't hand yeah. sculpted. Yeah. Um, like, has the has the 3D printing technology improved enough, or was back then, did you have to cast and, and mold and cast No, that? no, so all of my products are directly 3D printed. Mm. Like, I print out 16 keycaps at a time, every 12 hours, so my entire production is printing base. At a, and what resolution do you, do you 25 go for? micron, yeah. Wow, okay, on, that on, is... On the Form 2, yeah. Yeah, so SLA, really SLA. clean. Yeah, for sure. Um, There's no cleanup on any of these keycaps. Oh, at, at all? Um, well, on the bottom of the keycap? Yep. I mean, you really can't see it. Usually there's a little, like, spikes that you would see right, on a right, traditional right, right. SLA. Um, so you but, always print but I literally, orientation. Yes, they're always printed flat, and uh, I sand it off in three or four seconds, and it's clean. And, a lot of these keycaps would actually require multi-part molds and all. And I don't want to deal with any of that mess. The print is clean, it's perfect for my needs. Do you feel any restriction in terms of overhangs? Like something like this I'm yeah. looking at, well, which well, has a lot of negative space. Look at the look at the look at the zygomatic arch in his cheek. Yeah. You see through it. Right, yeah, How yeah. How would yeah. you cast that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You and, don't. <laughs> and so does that have a support there at all? No, 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 because oh. the way you orient the, the 3D prints themselves actually affect the quality and it affects what you can and cannot print. So right. it takes a little bit of R&D to get like the best quality print per keycap. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I have to like turn it a certain way to make it so that it doesn't have support. Like this one is a good example too. You can see through a lot of the pieces in here. Yeah. And because it's all oriented up, uh, I'm able to print it without any supports affecting the design. And so, um, and the design is the number one thing for me. So I don't want it to be a limiting factor to have to cast it or to print it poorly or anything like that. So. Now, in terms of design, you said the first key capture you did were like a test of your anatomy skills, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And I see a lot of portraits. Yeah. Um, what, what are the things you're experimenting with now? Um, well, I've been doing some that actually have moving parts. So this is my Necronomicat, and it actually opens and closes. Oh, hinge. So, so it's hinged. Um, you know, I'm using piano wire as, uh, as the hinge. And you know, it took me a lot of uh, printing attempts to make the diameter of the hole go all the way through. SLA tends to warp a bit at smaller scale, so even if I have a perfect hole in ZBrush, um, you know, I go and try to assemble it, and the hole's like off, like a micron, and it doesn't right. work. So I had to do it a few times to get it to work. But so moving parts are things, um, things that are partially clear in the center. Ah. This is actually a two-piece keycap that's been glued. Uh, this way it's like, uh, if you have LEDs on your keyboard, the lights come through. Right, um, right. Also, this one here has a hole all the way in his eye. Yeah. All the way to the back. So if you have an LED keyboard, you little get the bright. Little, little bright thing. Very so, Goonies. Yeah, yeah, totally Goonies, yeah. So these are the types of things I'm experimenting with. Um, you know, and always try to raise the bar personally, uh, artistically. 
And, Are you also uh, experimenting with different types of like flexible resins? I see clear resins. I have, uh, so all of my caps come as a clear. Mm. Clear actually has the best uh, strength properties apparently mm. from Form Labs, as, as, at least as from what I understand. So it's the strongest resin, which is really good because people really do use my keycaps. Like some people do whole rows. Yeah, yeah. And, and I don't want them breaking. And yeah. So, um, so they're very strong. And um, I've tried the flexible resin as yes, well. Yeah. And it doesn't work yet for me, but I, I, I really want it to. So one day maybe I'll figure that out. Does the community come to you and make requests? People like say, oh. you gotta do this, you gotta do this? Yeah, what's what's like yeah. a, a very popular request? Um, oh man, I, I mean people, people actually usually don't request something specific. Um, but they often say, do you do custom keycaps for me? And I and I try to say no, but I'm just trying to be kind because I don't want to tell them something like it's going to cost $500 to do right. one keycap for you and make them feel bad. Right, um, right. Actually, a lot of people request this Twitch cap that I did. Um, and But that's just like some some of these keycaps I just do for me just because I can. I can yeah. do I can sculpt anything I want. I can print anything I want. So that's incredible. That's the and, idea. And, do you think of it like a, that's your small canvas, right? Yeah, your, absolutely. Your three-quarter inch by three-quarter like, inch canvas. All of this stuff is templated in my ZBrush, and I just I, just, I have a little sketchbook on me. I design a keycap, you know, based on like if I'm a fan of a franchise, I try to do something like inspired from their world, yeah. or if um, I just have like an idea, like like the butt cat, the the, the ASCII, yeah, uh, yeah. the little pun there. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just like I just design it and do it. Yeah. So it's, 100% creative freedom, I think, is like what I was seeking in a in a career choice for me. And, and this medium allows me to do 3D printing, allows me to do sculpting and art and functional things and do it all in one place. And run your own small business. And run my own small business, yeah. That's awesome. You know, we're both in the Bay Area. Yeah. We're both missing out on a really cool keyboard meetup. I know, right? right? It's crazy. So it's fun to run into you yeah. at DesignerCon in Pasadena yeah. so you can still geek out about keyboards. Yeah, man. Robert's great to meet yeah, you. Thank you so much for having thank me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.